If you're not happy with the default colors that are available for our tracks and clips, we do have the ability to change that and create our own color swatches within Studio One. Now this is a relatively new feature and in this quick tip video, we're gonna take a look at that. Now, before we get started, I just want to give a reminder that the first live stream for Studio One Q&A is gonna be happening very soon in the coming hours here. So Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time is gonna be the first live stream for the channel here. So if you are available, definitely check that out. And also if you'd like to train with me one-on-one -on -one over Zoom, that is available as well. You can find more information in the description of this video or the pinned comment below. But let's go ahead and take a look at changing the colors here. So now for our track, if we'd like to change the color of our track, we can click on this color bar here to the left. I'll click once and then we can see a palette shows up there. Now for our clip, we can also change these by right clicking and then clicking on this color bar here and we can select a different color for our audio events, MIDI parts, etc., that are contained within the track. Those will be different than what we have chosen here. But let's just go ahead and click on this and this probably looks different than what you have. And the reason is if we click on this downward facing arrow here, we have a variety of different presets that we can choose from here. So if I click on load preset, then we can see default. And if you haven't made changes, then this is what yours is gonna look like. So we can then again, come to the load preset. Let's choose 256 colors. We've got CGA, Neon Vice, and then this pastel is one that I created myself. So let's come back to the default and take a look at how we can go about creating our own colors here. So the first thing to take note of is that if we wanted to remove any colors out of say a preset that we're gonna be creating ourselves, I can come to the last color here and select that. And then if I choose the minus button, we can then remove those and take them out. This would probably be more useful to do on a preset that it doesn't have so many colors included immediately. Now, as you can imagine, if I click on the plus, then we can add additional colors to our palette like so. Now, while we have a color selected, we can come down to our control here. Now on the outer ring, we can then take note of our little swatch there. If I click hold and drag, we can change the color, moving this more to red than to yellow, green. And then in the center, we can use this handle here to move more towards a grayscale or more muted tone. We can achieve a brighter look here and a deeper shade of green coming to the bottom corner here. So then you could click on the plus again. We'll use the outer circle to move more to a red. We'll click the plus again. Let's move this one more to blue. So now we've got these three new swatches that we've created and we can come here and store this as a preset. I'll just call this tutorial and then press enter. And so now when we come to the load preset, we can see that we have tutorial down here that we can choose in any of our songs. And that is how we can go about changing or customizing our colors for our tracks and events within Studio One.